The Price is Right, today at 4.30. Oh, Jordy, you're home. Great. That was so great. Well, it's boring around here. Now you can have dinner with me and Dylan. Sorry, Brett. Can't make it. Why not? What's all this stuff? I'm just going away for a week or so. Oh, wait, where are you going? Wait, wait, wait. I'm a little R and R before I go back to work. Thank you. I thought you quit your job at the casino. I did. I got a new job. I'm back yeah. at old Clay Towers. You're going back to work for Dad? Yep. What, are you crazy? I thought you hated it there. That wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad, Jordy. Okay, what's going on? Tell me. Nothing's going on. I just need a little break before I go back to work, okay? Uh-uh. it take a lot more than money to drag you back under that corporate ladder. Oh, I get it. This is, this is Leanne, isn't it? You're doing this all for her. Of course, I knew it all along, but I couldn't get anybody to listen to me. They all thought I was crazy. Oh, well, my darling, none of that matters now, does it? Once again, justice has prevailed. Oh. What are you doing in here? Oh, slow. I was just telling your father about Jarrett Morgan's arrest. Now, if we can just find some way to get the wisdom of canvas behind bars, I can have stuff her precious lover. Thomas, how are you going to apologize? No, you don't. Yeah, I think I do. When, when you told me Jared was dead, I guess I went off the deep end. I said a lot of things I didn't mean to say. <laughs> you should have heard what I said when I found out. So it took a long time before I calmed down enough to forgive him. Do you really forgive him? Yeah, I had to hate him first. I don't know what I really expected when I went storming over there like I did. Well, you were convinced he shot Mark. Absolutely. And then he convinced you otherwise? Well, we argued a lot. He tried to explain to me what he had done and why. And then there was this, this awful moment when, when he realized that I, I was still accusing him of attempted murder. My God, I'll never forget the look in his eyes. And then before I had a chance to say anything to him, Ames was knocking at the door. Thomas, I, I had to stand there and watch them haul him away. I believe he's innocent. I didn't get the chance to tell him. Father, I just heard that Jared Morgan was arrested. That's not true, is it? drop of oil of Olay. Sheer and light, it quickly penetrates to replenish your skin's youthful look. It is the one drop 50 million women believe in every day. Oil of Olay. You were pretty adamant at the hotel this morning, Leanne. No checkups, no treatments, no sympathy. What changed your mind? I got invited on a trip, leaving tonight, so I thought it was a good idea for you to check me over now. I don't see any reason why you shouldn't go if you're feeling strong enough. The medication will take care of the pain. But how long will you be gone? A week, maybe two. You're going with your new friend, I assume. This trip is very important to me, Dr. Bromberg, and I don't want to let anything spoil it. You still haven't changed your mind about telling this young man that you're dying? No, and I'm not going to. Ever since the first day I was diagnosed, I've had nothing but time to think about the way I want to live and die. And this is the best way for everybody. Best for you, maybe. I'm not sure about the people who care about you. Does this guy love you? Yes. But don't say it, all right? Because I'm not going to let him watch me die. Where are you two going on this vacation? I don't know. Maybe the Caribbean. But wherever we go, I'm going to make Jordan happier than he's ever been. Because that's the way I want him to remember me. Last thing and a half. Do you understand that? I can. But I'm not the one you have to convince. I just do not believe this. Jordy Clay.
Craig's playboy of the Western world is finally settling down. Look, sweetheart, we're going to Caribbean, not to Niagara Falls, all right? That's not how Wally tells it. He told me everything that you did for Leanne back in Atlantic City. Yeah, so? So now you're going on a little pre-honeymoon honeymoon, huh? Oh, and you're coming back to work for Dad? I don't know, Jordy. Sounds pretty tame for someone who won't even drink domestic champagne. Look, who said Leanne had anything to do with me going back to work? Nobody had to. I know you. Sisters have a way of figuring these things out. Yeah, I, I can see that. So this is it, isn't it? I mean, this is really it. You are serious about Leanne, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. You are? Very serious. Oh. This is so great. I just knew this day would come. I just knew it. Oh, you're crazy. So, what, where are you guys going? Are you going to stay at the house? Yes, in we are. And I don't want to be bothered. I don't want postcards, calls, nothing. You got that? I got it. I wouldn't want to intrude. I mean, this is way too romantic. Oh, yes. And when you guys get back, Jordy, you guys can move into the cabana, all right? And me and Leanne can go shopping for a wedding dress. No, no. No weddings. Oh, and we can pro probably even have a double wedding, Jordy. Me and Wally and you and Leanne. Brenda? Get off your cloud and get over here and give me a goodbye kiss. I'm so happy for oh. you guys. Yeah. Have a good time, okay? I will have a good time. Oh. And you stay out of trouble while I'm gone, all right? Okay. You give Land a hug for me, all right? Okay. Bye. Oh, the great. Bon voyage. Hey, Brenda. Dylan, hi. What's the matter with you? You sick or something? No, I'm not sick or something. My brother Jordy is in love, and I think it is just great. Oh, yeah, great. <sighs> uh, have you seen the keys to my bike around here? What do you need the keys for? <clears throat> Never mind. Just where are they? Well, you're not leaving, are you? Brenda, give me the keys. Who says I have your keys? Because they're not where I left them. Now, are you going to give me the keys, or do I have to take them from you? You have to take them from me. Brenda! <laughs> Is he in jail, Tyler? Yes, he's being held on suspicion of attempted murder. That's not right. He didn't do it. I saw him this afternoon at the hospital, and he swore to me that he did not shoot Mark. He said it was very important that I know that. Well, Mom, we don't believe that he did it either, and eventually the police will come to the same conclusion. But if they don't... Wait, where are you going? I'm going to the police station to see to it that this terrible thing gets cleared up. Mother, come here a second. It's not quite that simple. Sit down and listen to me. The police have come up with some very damaging evidence against Mr. Morgan. The gun they found that shot Mark happens to be Jarrett's gun. I don't care whose gun it was. He didn't do it. Jarrett did not shoot Mark. I know he didn't. You don't think he did it, do you? No, Mom, I don't. I believe he's innocent. But I don't see how we're going to prove that. The police said it's your gun. It is my gun. I just don't understand how it could have been used against Mark Denny. When's the last time you saw it? Well, I really didn't keep track of it. I know I had it in the hospital, but after that, who knows? I moved into the apartment. Marshall sent a lot of my things to Columbia. That gun could be anywhere. But, well, we know where it is now. The police have it. They're convinced you used it to shoot Mark Denny. Somebody must have stolen it. That's the only explanation I can think of. Somebody from the syndicate could have taken it, took a shot at Mark. Well, they didn't need to steal my gun to do that. They killed the man who formed the committee, and they framed you, the man who's supplying information to the committee. Very smooth. Yeah, it's too smooth. I gotta get out of here. We gotta get you a lawyer. Please. No, no, not that. A lawyer's just one more person digging around in the truth. And there are already too many people who know who I am. Jared, if Senator Denning dies, you're gonna be on trial for murder. You need a lawyer. This case can never come to trial, Seth. If it did, the truth would come out, and the case would be even stronger. And Clarissa would find out who I really am. After everything that's happened, that's not such a bad idea. No. You didn't see her at the hospital. I did. She's walking a very thin line, Zed. If she found out I was back, that would push her right over the edge. Okay, what do you want me to do? Find out who shot Mark Denny. Hamburger places think they can become chicken experts mm. overnight. And even though they may make chicken... Great cooks. Brenda has something that belongs to me. I was just asking for it back. Quite a conversation. <laughs> uh, 
I'm sorry about the lamp. I'm not. I always hated it. Aren't you supposed to be going to a cocktail party, Mom? I was, but the bastard car won't start. Charles is working on it right now. <laughs> I better call Dolly and tell her I'm running late. Uh, Mrs. Clegg, maybe I can help you out. <laughs> We're talking about a very expensive foreign car here, young man. Not a motorcycle. Hey, if it's got wheels, I can fix it. Let me check it out. Brenda, would you mind telling me what was going on in this room before I, I walked in here? Yeah, come on, we were just goofing around. We were having fun. Well, it's very expensive fun, young lady. You think the lamp can be replaced for $1,200. I'll take care of it, okay? Brenda, I still don't understand why you dragged that stray into this house in the first place. Dylan is not a stray. He happens to be my friend, and he needed somebody to take care of him. And he wasn't sick. He was wounded in some sort of gang battle. The that someone got killed in. Mother, the police cleared him. It was not his fault. Not a bit of it. Your friend is well now, and I think he should just go home. This is not a hotel for transients. He is not a transient. And anyway, I happen to really like him. You like him. He wears one earring. So, it's no big deal. Everybody wears the earrings nowadays. I just wish you guys would give him a chance. He's really a neat guy. Neat? <laughs> Looks like he's a refugee right off a chain gang. That, you just don't know him, Mother. In fact, the whole time when we were running from the police, he kept worrying about me and tried to make me go home. How sweet. On the run from the police. Really, Brenda? And you just don't know him, Mother. He happens to be a really smart guy. As a matter of fact, he even has a telescope. He knows all about Greek mythology. Brenda? He knows astronomers. He even knows what all the constellations Brenda, are. Brenda, I'm sure the young man has many fine attributes. I just wish he would take them somewhere else, that's all. Why is it, Mother, that you and Daddy never accept any of my friends, huh? You hate everybody, Mother, from Wally right on down to Dylan. Oh, now, Wally has nothing to do with this, Brenda. I mean, that young man is one step up from a hoodlum. He is totally unsuitable for you. But he's not totally useless, Mother. Car is all fixed, Mrs. Clegg. The mother stop with these wild accusations. Clarissa had absolutely nothing to do with what happened to Daddy. Sloan, dear, if you knew what I knew. Well, never mind. You'll soon see it my way. Now listen, darling. I need your help. When your father comes out of this nightmare, I want to bring him home. I want to bring him back to the house. Obviously, he can't go back to Clarissa after everything that's happened. Mother, happen. that's not for you to decide. Besides, it's a little early to be talking about Daddy's coming home. The doctor said he could be like this for a long time. He might, might not, not ever be completely himself again. That's exactly why I have to make my plans now. Your father's going to need a lot of care and a lot of looking after, and that's what a wife is for, in sickness and in health. Mother, you are not his wife. I mean, you have no control over Daddy anymore. Don't you know that? He loves Clarissa. He's going to marry Clarissa. And we all know how that turned out. No, your father's place is with me. That's where he belongs. Clarissa had her chance. Every day now, just like your father lied to us. His favorite pipe tobacco, oh, brandy please, after Mother, dinner. why are you doing this? Look, Daddy is never going to go back to you. It's never going to happen, Mother. You know that. Sloan, why don't you move back into the house, too? Yes, you you could have your old room back, and, and we'll have lovely family dinners, and, and perhaps a, a game or two of bridge afterwards. Everything is going to be just like it was before. I mean, much better. I'll see what I can do. I'm going to head over to the hospital and uh, check on Sloan and her father. There's still a chance Senator Denning will come out of this and name the real killer. Yeah, well, keep your fingers crossed. Oh, and Zed, now listen, if you uh, happen to run into uh, Clarissa, I'm going to leave her a message. No, no message. Thanks, Ed. Everyone is trying to make more out of our friendship than it ever was. Paula, my family. Even Mark. It is such a shame that two people can't be friends. Just friends. Yes, it is. It was just a friendship, was it? Tyler. Surprised to see you here. You asked me a question before the police came to pick you up. I thought you deserved an answer. Well, don't bother. You believed I was guilty before. That gun must have really clinched it for you. No. For what it's worth, I believe you're innocent. 
I'd like to prove that if I can. Miss me? Oh, you're late. I thought I was going to be left waiting at the runway. Oh, no way. They're just bringing it. I guess your tune, honey. Mm -hmm. you just stick with me, all right? No, I just forgot what I was going to say. You were about to explain why you kept this lady Ah, with... right. Of course, sit down. I had a little business I had to take care of. What kind of business? A little going away surprise. Jordan, what have you been up to? You never have to worry about a kindness from Covington. Dropping the charges? I took care of it. Now, I don't want you to ever think about him again, okay? Okay. That's fine. Now you're catching on. The only thing I want you to worry about is whether we're going to have champagne or orange juice at breakfast. <laughs> Can't I have both? <laughs> Anything you want. Thank you very much, Jerry. I have a present for you, too. Oh, good. Where is it? Mm -mm. You don't get it till we get there. Mm, quite a tease, aren't you? Mm -mm. <laughs> someone who loves you very much and wants to say thanks. It's not necessary. Now, do you... You got everything? Well, I don't know. When you called, you didn't say where we were going, so I didn't know what to pack. Well, I can always give you a little hint. Uh, where we're going is, doesn't require much clothing. Mm-hmm. Sounds very intriguing. How long will we be gone? A week, a year, maybe forever. Forever's a long time. Not nearly long enough. Oh, oh, oh we we gotta get this show on the road. <laughs> what changed your mind? I'm not sure. The look in your eyes when you realized your son believed you were capable of murder. Anyway, I want to help you with your defense. Look, I appreciate the offer. I know it wasn't the easiest thing to come over here. Uh, it gets easier. But there's no one I would rather have on my side right now. But you got to understand, this case cannot come to trial. Because of murder? Right. You haven't told her anything? Of course not. It's important that she doesn't find out, Tyler. How is she? Well, she's putting up a pretty good front. I don't think she's dealing with things too well. I saw her this afternoon at the hospital. I'm very worried about her. We all are. I've hurt you pretty deeply, haven't I? I don't know. Those words don't come as easily to me as they do to you. Hurt. Anger. Confusion. I don't think I can put my feelings in any one category. I keep looking at you. Looking for a familiar gesture, an inflection in the voice, but it's not there. Hey, listen, I still get a funny feeling every time I look in the mirror. It's as if uh, someone else's face is staring back at me. But inside, Tyler, I haven't changed very much. I'm still your father. I'm still there. I've been wanting to say that to you ever since I came back. Even before. Well, it's going to take some time. Hey, listen. You really have thrown me off balance, you know that? Why? Well, of all my sons, I thought my coming back would be the hardest for you to accept. You've been very lucky to have Mark there for you. To guide your career and take you under his wing. Mark's been terrific. I can't deny that. But it's not the same thing. I, I kept thinking about you. I'm very proud of you, Tyler. Of everything that you've become. And I'm grateful to Mark for being there with the advice and support when I couldn't be. He's done a lot for all of you. And for your mother. I know she loves him very much. The morning of the wedding, Mom called us all together, Thomas, Wally, and myself. And she asked us to be happy with her in marrying Mark. But she told us not to forget about her father. That he was a, he was a great man, you know, a wonderful man. And that he loved us. That sounds like Clarissa, doesn't it? Yeah, I keep remembering what it 
speech you said this morning about uh, still loving her, wanting to be a part of her life. That's true. You love her enough to let her walk down the aisle with another man. Yes, I do. Exactly that much. Hi. Hi. How's he doing? Not today. Uh, I've been sitting here trying to talk to him. I don't have any idea if I'm getting through. I'm sure he hears you. Don't try to talk now. Why did she do it? Hi, you... Looks like you and Cindy have...